Hey guys, it's Alex from 7th Hour Films, back again with JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Last time on JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, we had Lisa Lisa Hamon coach. So yeah, JoJo and Caesar Zeppeli met up with Caesar's Hamon coach, Lisa Lisa. And uh, she promptly put a breathing correction apparatus on uh, JoJo's mouth so that he will be forced to use proper breathing. And uh, he will have to basically leave that on until she's ready for, until she deems that his breathing has been fixed, basically. Uh, and then she threw both Caesar and Jojo into, what was it? Uh, the pillar, the hell climb, the hell climb pillar. I think that was it. Yeah. Um, yeah, she threw the two of them into the hell climb pillar which was this giant pillar with oil coming down from it, and the only way you could get up was by using your hamon. And it took three days overall for uh, Caesar and Jojo to get up, and it took a while for Jojo to really figure out what the hell he was doing and to not try to take shortcuts. But it all worked out in the end, and the two of them really did learn a lot uh, from this experience. Then at the end, they met up with uh, two of Lisa Lisa's servants who would continue training them for another two weeks. And at the end of the episode, we had seven days left before the big fight in the Colosseum. So yeah, that is pretty much that. We are now moving on into episode 17 of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Isn't that crazy? So with that all being said, why don't we go ahead and get right into this episode of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Here we go. This amplified light holds power untold. But this one won't do. This little red pebble isn't large enough. We hmm. need more capacity and strength in it. To complete our mask, we need a red stone that is large and utterly flawless. So they need a better we stone. We need a super Asia. Once we have that, All right. we will conquer the sun and then become the final perfect step in evolution. Okay, then. What I have in my hand here is a natural, perfectly flawless stone. A Super Asia. Whoa. Oh, she has it. You've been carrying the Red Stone of Asia around? Oh. Oh. And now we've met its creator, Cause. Hmm. Just break it. Yeah, crush the damn thing. Smash it to yeah. pieces and they'll cry like babies. No. I can't do that. Why? It's interesting What's that Cars is the oldest. Legend says the Pillar Men can't be defeated unless the stone is somehow a part of the process. I'm afraid it's necessary for a final examination. Oh what? boy. A final exam? Caesar, take on Machina and defeat him. Jojo, you have the same assignment but with locks. Are you two ready? <clears throat> okay. So, we're not doing the intro? Man, I like the intro. Is that Instructor Logs? Uh, horrible! Unnatural! Instructor Logs! Wait, what? H he's dead! Uh oh! That's not part of the test! His lungs were pulled out. Lungs are vital for Hamon users. Yeah. It had to have been a kick of incredible power. No, Logs! I was sure that this would be my chance to get you back for everything you did to me. Fucking Jojo. You have to watch me from where you are now, instructor. See what I've learned from you. Oh boy. Ah, jeez. That's pretty cool. Hey, it's easy. So we're going to be fighting on spikes. Early, but... I'll tell you this one more time. Back away. You know that with one touch of my hand, you'll soon be missing half of your body. Just try to move me. Uh This now. Yeah. Oh, look, I'm still here. He's I been training. Important thing. You'll never use it for Hamon ever again. No! Oh, come on, Jojo. <clears throat> oh. Oh, you finally noticed. Your arm is wrapped up in a loop of fine silk thread. It's soaked in vegetable oil, so it really uh. conducts Hamon quite well. He's got his move. I, I won. But, but that's. Actually, a little morbid for my taste. Yeah. But still, first blood goes to me and my instructor! Oh! 
I don't know. He's bawling his eyes out. I should finish him off quickly. Yeah. Huh? Wait. Here it comes. Was it a ruse? Or he just needed a minute? I feel better now. Sometimes my emotions overwhelm me. And when I'm about to lose it, I try to calm myself down by venting with a crying jag. <laughs> oh. Earlier you referred to a tactic. Sun Tzu, didn't you? I've been longing for a worthy opponent. Ah! What the hell? What are you doing? He's taking it. <sighs> well, it is a bit thin at the moment, but it'll grow thicker with the passage of time. <sighs> yeah. It's too much. Like Dio Just was going to take ago, Jonathan's crying. body. Oh, Jojo. What's happening to Log's body? Whoa! That burns! His body, it's boiling! What's going on? Yeah, I don't know. I can raise my blood up to 500 degrees and then shoot it out at will. Jeez. At the same time, I took off his arm. My domain is that of heat. Oh. I control the inferno. Interesting. I'll grant that your power to my veins will inject boiling blood into your skull, and mm. then turn your brain into a nice red stew. Uh oh. This is the reason that I am called the Burning King. <laughs> yeah. Jojo. Yeah, do you go check on him. He's alone out there. Caesar, take this. Meanwhile. But today your hormone attack was so focused you were able to burn the hair off of my arm. What else can I do after being shamed like this? <laughs> you have That's passed funny. your final exam with flying colors. Yay. Go check on Jojo. Whoa, look there! Hey, CDC! Hmm. And there's another of those right. clever dodges of yours. All oh. Right. The mask gave me some protection that time. Yeah. But... Yeah. Uh, careful. Oh. Okay. Well, he got that shit off him. Oh, damn him! Just keep your breathing up, though. Once he steps inside the string, I'll wrap him up in it. Then use my hormone to finish him off. Okay. <laughs> What, what is he doing? Yep. That, that, that was weird. So I guess you finally noticed. Now what possible reason would my hat be shrinking? Oh. Be caught in my whip. That's why he has a hat. My, what are you laughing about this time? The next words from your mouth are, I'm going to knock that smirk right off of your face. What? Uh -oh. I'm going to knock that smirk right off your face. No. That's Wait his second, thing. You can't do that. That's my trick. Yeah. You said you had a web. Look around. So does he. The one with the web. Ew. If Jojo is not the one to survive, we will be the ones ACDC will come after next. <gasps> Jojo is too far away for us to be able to help him now. Ah, oh, crap. I know it's painful, but right now we have to think about protecting Lisa Lisa and the Red Stone. So come, let's make our preparations. Ah, oh, crap. All right. Jojo. They got to leave him. My arms are folded and my eyes are closed, so this laugh would be one of victory, ACDC. You're the hmm. loser here today because for the last 2,000 years, you have been asleep at the wheel. I lost? What do you mean by that? How? Oh, really? Illusion is my thing! But I cut all those strings! I cut them! It can't be! Oh. I'd say the rope magic works. I laid my trap carefully so that even if the string was cut, it would still function. Oh. A simple trick. My veins will move faster than your pathetic hormone can possibly oh. go. Now! My veins will move faster than your pathetic hormone can possibly go! <sighs> now feel oh. the beat of my hormone overdrive! Oh! I can't. I will not be beaten! 
Oh! His horn! Ooh! Whoa! His body is shooting some kind of strange energy. Man, this My is awesome. I thank you for torturing me. Huh? Mille grazie to you, Logs. Yeah. Yay! The antidote. Oh man, this reminds me of snot. Hopefully it's just because it's dripping from a ring that came out of his nose. Yeah. But I need to knock it back. Yay! God, the throat one is probably the worst. I'll go see Lisa Lisa and Caesar. Yeah. I think maybe I was using my head too much in that fight. Tuh. My shoulders are really kind of stiff. Yeah. Um... Uh oh. Wait. Oh, that's not like. Hold up. Hold up. Take me back ten seconds. Okay, I don't think, that wasn't like, that wasn't something that's on his back. That was just showing us inside to show us his heart, basically. Alrighty. That was interesting. Now, they're not, it's it's not something where it's like, oh, well, you know, he's, there's something on his back. I don't think that's it. I think that was just showing us the inner workings of his heart, basically. I hope so. I hope... I don't know. Maybe we'll see. Because, um, I mean, they did talk about how, you know, he was able to completely destroy ACDC where he couldn't destroy San Viento. So... I don't know. I guess we'll find out next episode. Um, Alright, that was a pretty good episode. You know, I mean, I... I do kind of wish that they would just, like stick with training episodes sometimes because i feel like part two there just hasn't been enough like like there's we've had so much basically that we went from we went from straight so straight so to san viento to facing the pillar men and then it's like okay we get a one episode break basically we get a one episode break, you know, just to do training with Lisa Lisa. And then immediately, like, alright, well, let's fight ACDC. And it's like, oh, come on. Can't you give us, like, a few episodes of training, you know? I don't know. So, yeah, my man, Logs died. That kind of sucks, you know? Logs died. I mean, it was a great fight. I did like it. But at the same time, it's like... <sighs> I want training. I want a, I want good training episodes, you know? I would like that to last a little while. Plus, we didn't get our friggin' fight at the Coliseum, you know? Granted, I guess the fight at the Coliseum the, the fight at the Coliseum is like, I guess is more for Wamu than for ACDC. ACDC, that's the thing is that he just sort of went in there, you know, and was like, "Hey, I'm going to friggin', you know, battle you too." So, I don't know. I don't know. The pacing of this part... I, I guess that's it, is that the pacing of part two seems a little bit different from the pacing of part one, honestly. You know, where it's like, there was a... Like, yes, we had our initial fights with Dio, but then we had a good stretch of, you know, training, fighting other things, fighting, you know, uh, Blueford and Tarukis, and then, you know, training with Baron Zeppeli and stuff, and then... We fought Dio, and then we had another episode where, you know, we had to destroy Dio once and for all. So, I will say I do, I think I do prefer the pacing and, I don't, I don't know, I don't want to say like the story, I guess. But, I mean, kind of, the pacing and the story of part one, I'm kind of enjoying a little bit more than this. Not that I don't like this. Like, I do like this. Part two is still good, but I think, I don't know, it, it was a bit, it was a bit 
better paced in part one, I feel like. So, I don't know. We still have... I mean, we still have, I think, like, what, nine episodes? We have, I think we have nine episodes left of part two. So, I mean, I assume it's going to be taking us a little while because we have two other villains. We have, um, we have Wamu and then we have Cars. So, you know, presumably we are going to get more training episodes. It's just that we, I, I feel like we jumped back in with ACDC a little too quickly. So, I don't know. I don't know, like, it's especially, I don't know, it's especially odd, because we've done so many things, you know, we've done so many things, it's, it hasn't even been 10 episodes, it's only been like 8 episodes so far of part 2, but we've done so much between Straitso, San Viento, and then, uh, and then the initial fight with Wamu, and then now ACDC, it's like, all this in 8 episodes, like, it, it seems like a lot. It definitely seems like a lot. I do think I... Right now, I prefer the pacing of part one than part two. But I still enjoy part two. So, yeah. That's kind of that, I guess. Alrighty. We can go ahead and get into the notes here. Uh, the first thing I wrote down was the Super Asia. So, that was interesting that, you know... Basically, they found the Stone of Asia, the Red Stone of Asia, but it wasn't strong enough, so they need to go find the Super Red Stone of Asia, which uh, is currently in the possession of Lisa Lisa, which is interesting. And I, I like it, so it, it amplifies sunlight, basically, like billions of times and creates, you know, just normal light passing through it would become completely devastating, you know? So that's pretty crazy. Um, I'm not exactly sure what it has to do with the masks, though. You know? Like, why... I don't know. Unless they said it at the beginning. Which is entirely possible. I'll go back and find out. Turn on subtitles. This amplified light holds power, I'm told. But this one won't do. This little red pebble isn't large enough. We need more capacity and strength in it. To complete our mask, we need a red stone that is large and utterly flawless. We need a super Asia. Once we have that, we will conquer the sun. Okay. And become the final perfect step in evolution. Okay, that's what it was. It's that they need... Is that they're conquering the sun. Which, yeah, I, I kind of forgot that was sort of the whole point. Because, yeah, you know, sunlight... Like with Dio... And the vampires, sunlight is bad for the pillar men. So that's it, is that I guess it will basically... The stone, the the super stone of Asia, along with the mask, will empower them to overcome sunlight. And then they will pretty much... They'll practically be invincible, which means that if, you know, if sunlight doesn't hurt them, then that means Hamon won't either. So, yeah, they, they would become pretty powerful. So that's pretty interesting. Um, okay, so we also got the mention that Cars is the oldest pillar man, uh, which is interesting. So I, I was kind of confused a while back when I was like, okay, well, how many pillar men are there? Or how many pillars are there? But there are two pillars in total and four pillar men in total. One was San Viento, which the Germans found, and then the one in Rome which housed, uh, that one had Wamu, ACDC, who was above Wamu, and then the ultimate master, who is Cars. So, uh, so that's pretty interesting. And he's the one, he is the one who created the masks. Uh, so that's pretty interesting. Good little lore there. So that means that Cars is going to be our ultimate bad guy in this, uh, which is pretty crazy. Uh, I wrote down final exams, but they really didn't have final exams. You know, because Jojo really didn't, Jojo didn't defeat Logs, and then, I mean, we did get a bit of Caesar versus, uh, uh, what was, uh, Machina? Yeah. So we got a bit of that, but even then, they didn't really show us much. They just showed us, oh, he used his bubble move, and then, you know, Machina was like, whoa, okay, if we keep going, one of us is gonna die, and you are, you're good, you know? 
You're, you're powerful enough. You're good. So that kind of sucks that we didn't really get the final exams, you know? They were pretty much, like, interrupted, basically. And they didn't even show us uh, Caesar's final exam that much. So that kind of sucks, I have to say. Um, and it sucks that Logs died, you know? And it just it just happened. You know, JoJo just went there and was like, oh, well, he's dead. Guess I'm fighting ACDC now. All right. Um, and then, let's see. I guess we can go into the, the last, last of my notes. Uh, my next four notes are all to deal with um, JoJo's fight with ACDC. Um, I wrote down the silk thread. That was pretty clever. Um, I did like that. It kind of reminds me of, like, Walter from Helsing or Besh Genist, uh, from, uh, MHA. But that was pretty cool that, um, he used silk and he had to, cause, you know, he couldn't just, like, sort of whip it around and then pull and that, and it's like, oh, that would cut. He did need something to hold on to the other side so that it would actually, uh, slice through. Um... And so it's interesting he had to use logs for that. And even he was like, I don't I don't like that I had to do this because, you know, using my master's dead body. But, but hey, that means that, you know, it, he kind of like rationalized like, well, you know, technically logs is helping out with the first, you know, blow basically. So, th so that was kind of cool. And then I like that that came back with his hat too. Because I was wondering, it's like, okay, well, why does he have this hat on, you know? He's never had this hat, but that hat is part of his uh, his attacks now. And so now he has two distinct attacks, at least, which are good. He has uh, the, the clackers, which uh, he used against Wamu, and then he also has the thread now. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I did like that. Um, okay, this was, this was kind of funny. Uh, the crying. ACDC just completely bawling his eyes out. And then it stopped, you know? It, it stopped. And this was all, you know, he's crying over his arm. But I like the explanation that he does is that, you know, he's basically like, oh, well, you know, sometimes, you know, my emotions get pretty high and I don't want to, like, let them, you know, weigh me down. So I just let them all out, you know, within the, within the span of 10 seconds. And then once it's done, it's done and I'm good, you know? So that was actually interesting because, again, you know, it's it was obviously like, oh, look at this weird moment where, you know, our big bad villain is crying his eyes out over his arm. But it's not that, well, he's crying his eyes out over his arm is that, no, he was getting, I mean, he was getting sort of emotional, you know, after the loss of his arm, basically. But the only reason he's like, you know, doing this huge crying fit is because he's trying to stop, basically. He's trying to get get these emotions out, get it off his chest, basically. And so once he's done, he's done. He's not going to be emotional for the rest of this fight, and it's not going to, like, cloud cloud his judgment. That was actually pretty clever, actually. I said actually twice there. Um, but yeah, that was really cool. Um, that, you know, it, like, it, it's part of his tactics, is that he lets it out. And no one is, you know, prepared for that. Ever, so everyone would be shocked by... You know, the big pillar man letting out all his emotions like that. That no one thinks, you know, because Jojo was stunned. You know, he was like, is, is this really happening? And was like, I I guess I should go finish him off. And then, but he waited so long to do that, that um, that ACDC finished. I was like, oh, all right, let's go. I'm ready. I'm, I'm back. I'm good. So that was actually really interesting. A, a very interesting, like, tactic that he uses you know so i like that oh boy uh i wrote down boiling blood so okay so this was interesting it, it definitely reminded me of dio a bit when you know dio would have like tendrils and stuff coming out um oh which also part of that too when uh I, another thing that reminded me of dio is when he just took logs arm and just started using it he started using it for himself that does make sense because that was going to be dio's whole thing was that he was going to cut off jonathan's head and then just take over jonathan's body basically so so i like that they kind of brought that back again it does show you know the connection between uh the pillar men and the vampires even though this is technically a bit different you know they don't exactly have the same move sets as Dio did, but um, but they do have sort of the same limitations and some of the same 
they they do have some of the same things that they can do. And so I did like that, him taking the arm. Uh, and then we had Boiling Blood. So this was supposed to be his thing was, you know, where Wamu has the Sandstorm. He has Darude Sandstorm. Uh, ACDC has Boiling Blood and he, he has the power of heat. He really didn't use it that much. I, honestly, when all is said and done, his power wasn't that impressive, honestly. You know, like, the most was like, you know, oh, his veins came out, which, okay, yeah, that's gross, and that that is something Dio kind of did at the end of part one. So, okay, that's interesting. I like that. And then he just sort of drips the boiling blood to poke holes in Jojo, and then nothing happens because Jojo beats him anyway. And I was like, you know... When you say you're the master of the Inferno, you know, your whole thing is heat. And it's like, oh, this is my, you know, sandstorm, but it's heat, basically. And it's like, I was expecting a bit more, I have to say. Which, I mean, maybe is that is that kind of where we're going with this episode? Is that I kind of expected more, and I didn't expect this right this second. I don't know. I still like this episode overall, but yeah, it's like, I kind of expected a bit more from the master of, you know, the king of the inferno, and it's like, eh, he poked some holes, it was dangerous, yeah, and he, he could have done something better, but Jojo beat him before anything cool could happen, so, I'm a little conflicted on that, I have to say, um, but yeah, and the way Jojo beat him, I thought was cool, the sleight of hand, you know, it's like, oh, the sleight of hand, it's, you know, become very popular, I always enjoyed it, and I like that he had it, he had the string to where, even if the red string, the red thread was cut, the white string was still there. So he still planned ahead that far, which was pretty cool. And then he just completely destroyed ACDC. Um, and it was pretty cool. I, I like the animation of him, you know, just vaporizing, you know? Like, that was pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, that... But that was pretty much the fight. Overall, I mean, it was alright, but I feel like it was... It was too soon, and it didn't live up to the hype that it started. Like, the hype that it was giving in the episode, you know? I don't know. Um, but yeah, but JoJo had, did get the antidote, and he finally got that throat ring off, which is pretty good. And maybe there's something happening at the end here with, with him, with, like, showing his back. I don't know. I guess I can watch it again. No, that's not his heart. That's not his heart. Okay, finally I got a clear look at it. Finally I got a clear look at it, basically. It is definitely, like, coming off of him, you know? So that's not his heart. That is remnants, basically, of ACDC. Um, and it's still sort of, like, draining him, basically. So they're going to have to figure out something for that. They're going to have to deal with that next episode. Okay, so I'm glad I went back and looked at that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I got. It was still a good episode, I have to say. And it does look like we're going to be leading into something else in the next episode, you know, with that thing on his back. But at the same time, I do feel like this was a little early. I did want a few more uh, episodes of training. And overall, the fight was good but not spectacular although it did have some very interesting things like the silk threads um or all the threads that jojo was using and the crying honestly was actually kind of interesting you know so yeah that's pretty much all i got so with all that being said i'm alex from seventh hour films and i will see you guys next time take care Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. If you want to watch more of my JoJo's Bizarre Adventure reactions, you can click on the playlist, you can subscribe if you haven't done that already, and be sure you hit that notification bell. You can support me on Patreon and follow me on social media, links below in the description. See you guys later.